Tanisha with Your Tip Tuesday. Happy New Year, everyone. It's the first Tip Tuesday of the year. This is going to be very quick and something that I know a lot of women have experienced. Meet Ocynthia. Ocynthia is our model today. Ocynthia has on this beautiful pink top, and she's preparing to go someplace. And so she's like, oh, what necklaces should I wear? She says that she's going to wear her seed bead necklaces golden, but look at how it's looking. It's kind of up and it's kind of down and it's kind of crooked and it's looking a little just kind of stiff and messy. And then she said, well, maybe I'll wear this one. But look, it's the same thing. It's just kind of like just on there. It's just not really even like doing what it's supposed to do. So let me tell you something really quick and easy that you can do. And everybody has this one tool in their house that will help get these kinks and wrinkles up out of this necklace. That's right, up out of this necklace. So what you need is just a trusty blow dryer. So I'm gonna turn the blow dryer on, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it on low heat. And as I turn it on, low heat is going to kind of help those pieces gradually get back together. So you're gonna put it on the low setting. I know it's kind of loud, I'm gonna hold it down here. And it's probably something that you want to do before your event because you don't want to be blow drying next because you don't want to be blow drying next to who knew that you can blow dry a necklace and your hair. So we're gonna blow dry this necklace. Go ahead. Actually, we're gonna just try to get those kinks out. So you can put it on a low setting, you can try to put it on a higher setting. And that fits you. Put it on this low setting and we're gonna work that right on that. So while you're blow drying, you're gonna to try to shape it as well with your hands, and that's gonna help it try to regain its shape, okay? Because the heat is kind of melting those, you know, the innards. <laughs> okay? So we're going to get those together, and I'll be right back to show you what it's gonna look like when we're done.